One week to Election Day, only news three with an in-depth look at the candidates and the issues in the second congressional district race incumbent Tammy Baldwin trying to fend off the challenge of Republican newcomer Chad Lee. Tonight, Baldwin tells our Andy Choi she's still a force in moving Wisconsin forward. The steady stream of cars rolling through Hubbard Avenue is a sure sign it's time to eat. But for second congressional district representative Tammy Baldwin... Hi, how are you? Back. Well, thank you. It's yeah. great to be back. The lunch rush in Middleton means it's time to garner support for re-election. Before you leave, can I say hello? I'm Tammy Baldwin, representative in Congress, running for re-election. My campaigning this uh, autumn has been uh, filled with Main Street walks and small business visits. And I've been doing this in communities all throughout South Central Wisconsin in the second congressional district. Hi, I'm Hi. Tammy Baldwin. Susan no. Foot Martin. We met in Washington, D.C. The five-term incumbent admits some of her constituents are experiencing some tough times. There are communities where, unfortunately, every fourth shop is an empty shop, and you realize that there's some real hurt and suffering. But Baldwin says the current election gives voters two very distinct paths to a solution. I support extending tax cuts for the middle class in America. Uh, the Republicans in Congress and my opponent uh, regrettably are holding those tax cuts hostage to cuts for the very wealthiest Americans, uh, the top 2%. I appreciate your support very much. Thank you. Are there specific challenges here in Wisconsin and southern Wisconsin? I would say there's both specific challenges and opportunities. Before the recession, Baldwin says the number one issue for voters was health care. Baldwin regards the recent health care reform as a direct result of listening to her constituents. People um, were very much suffering in the system, and it's why I took that issue so much to heart and have worked on it so um, hard, you know, year in and year out, and feel very proud of having listened and responded to my constituents. Hey, how are you? It's great to see you. In her last four congressional races, Tammy Baldwin has defeated her opponents by more than a 25% margin. But the heavily favored incumbent leaves nothing to history's numbers. I've been working hard, though. I'm very concerned about the, um, the speculation that there'll be a drop-off in turnout this year. And so, you know, I'm going to keep on working through the, you know, the final moments. Baldwin's underdog mentality remains 12 years after shattering two major political glass ceilings. She was Wisconsin's first woman elected to Congress and the first openly gay non-incumbent elected to the House of Representatives. On both counts, I remember being told it can't be done when I was a candidate. And one of the things I think I realized from way back then is Citizens and voters don't like being told before the election what the outcome is going to be. Hello, how are you? I always say some of the best ideas for legislation come right from my constituency, and I worked with many of my constituents to pass legislation. And it's voters that Baldwin hopes she can continue to listen to. I hope you'll vote, register to vote, and vote on November 2nd, and I hope I can earn your support. For Campaign 2010, Andy Choi, WISC News 3.